Are you ready for the half hour season finale? Up next. Recap of Survivor Land of Eviction USA. Up next. Five family members slash contestants were stranded in the pasture of the United States of America. They outwitted, outplayed, and outlasted to get to where they were in the game. The ultimate goal was to survive the vote. They strategized, won challenges, and voted someone off at tribal council every night. When the castaways arrived to camp, they began to work on their shelter, their tents. Early in the game, they started forming alliances. Off the bat, Carson and Kellen did not bond very well. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get first, but at least I didn't get last. <clears throat> Carson. Sometimes you gotta stop being annoying. I'm glad he's gone because he was really annoying at night. Brayden had a huge target on his back from the start of the game. With his athletic ability and his huge contribution around camp, it made him a huge target going forward. The threat seemed safe. He had his brother Kellen in his back pocket and he seemed tight with Connor from the beginning. No, no strategy, just win. I think um, me and Connor, pretty, pretty tight. Um, I built everyone's tent. Hudson was in the middle of Tribe America. Hudson joined forces with Carson and Connor, the brother duo, leaving behind Brandon and Kellen on the outside of the Alliance. In the first challenge of the night, an immunity challenge. <coughs> Carson's challenge went completely downhill. Taking up over three minutes on the puzzle pieces, Carson solved 14 puzzle pieces in 10 minutes. Brayden took fourth place on the first challenge. Kellen had a hot start finding the bags of puzzle pieces, but slowed down on the puzzle later, only solving 38 pieces, just like his brother Brayden. Hudson found the puzzle pieces in the same time as Brayden, as Connor found the pieces in the quickest time of 131. But Connor took the silver in the first challenge, only solving 32 pieces in 10 minutes, while Hudson solved it all in 940. Hudson won immunity, and he was safe from the first tribal council. He sent Connor to land of eviction, where the medal was never found. Kellen found the hidden immunity medal back at camp. It was a four on one. The little ones plotted against Brayden to vote him out of the game. Brayden's journey came to an end very, very short. On day one, Brayden was voted out of the game and the four left made it to day two. The contestants woke up bright and early to strategize. Connor and Hudson had a core alliance. Carson was trying to make a big move, so he invited over Kellen and tried to fend for himself. In the first reward challenge, Hudson got off to a hot start, making two straight. But then Carson hit four unanswered, and Connor and Carson won reward. They fueled themselves up with a Chick-fil-A breakfast, while Hudson and Kellen had to wait for the auction. At the Land of Eviction auction, everyone was satisfied with their food, sweets, and Chick-fil-A breakfast. At the second reward challenge, Carson won left, right, center, and got the rest of the auction money spent. Watch you saw me, boys! The host divided up the teams. It was Hudson and Kellen versus Connor and Carson in the third straight and last reward challenge. Carson and Hudson were defeated by Connor and Kellen in the reward challenge. Connor and Kellen got a delicious Dairy Queen blizzard with a nice lunch to go with it. Chi Chi stopped by to watch the immunity challenge and gave Kellen some advice about how to get farther in the game. Connor was suspicious of the actions of Chi Chi and Connor realized he had to win the immunity challenge. They each need one for immunity. Oh, no. Connor and Carson dominated the first round against Hudson and Kellen, and then they faced each other in the final round for immunity. Where Connor takes control and gets the victory. A team is formed to get out Carson, and he was voted out that night at Travel Council. So we are going to vote off Carson on tonight. Watch it happen. Did Connor make a mistake voting out Carson? Who has control of the game? Who will be voted out at Travel Council that night? Who will win immunity next? Is the tribe noticing Connor's manipulating backstabbing strategy? Who's making it to the final two? Has Connor made himself the threat? Find it all out next on Survivor USA Land of Eviction season finale, episode four. Connor, a player with the most up and downs in the game, the strategic player that has control of the game with one immunity challenge win. One away is Hudson. An alliance with Connor took him to the final three in an immunity challenge win, helping him get to the final four. Kellen, he has no immunity wins, but he found the immunity medal, which kept him safe. His social game has also got him to the final three. The three survivors left in the finale, who have made Braden fifth place and Carson fourth place. One more will join the jury. One challenge. It's one thing why I've been here, so.
and two will make it to the end where the jury will vote for them. Episode four, the season finale, up next. This YouTube premiere on CVP is sponsored by Attack on Lanes Array. It's day three, three are left. Only one will win the $100 cash prize. Really confident, I will win. Cross country runner, Connor Campbell. Gamer, Kellen Budworth. Baseball player, Hudson Wall. Find out tonight who will be the season one, Soul Survivor. great time and we had one person that led the tribe people don't know it yet but they are gonna notice when they get voted out man dude he is controlling the game i'm not saying who i don't want to spoil it yet but yeah and i'm pretty happy that i'm gone so i can sleep in a comfortable bed and eat nice food i'm glad you're gone because he was really annoying at night that person out. Wasn't much of a threat. Um, so, Carson told me afterwards that um, Connor has been telling everyone that he's going to get top two with him. So that's why me and Connor are going to try and get out Connor if they don't backstab me. But I mean, if they do, I could stay in house. So. <laughs> And I get food, but I'm I'm looking top two. Good night. Uh, we were drawing that out for about a day and a half now. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Exactly how it got. So really well. Couldn't have gone any better, honestly. If I really could win, I believe I could win this game. If I could win this challenge. So it all depends on this one challenge. It's one thing why I've been here. So. It's gonna be a big, huge, probably difficult challenge. So yeah, looking forward to it. Man, well, uh, I've had fun so far. I hope I win. I don't know about Connor over there. He he's a good mind player, aren't you, Connor? Anyway, I don't know. I hope it's gonna be kind of easy because I'm I'm looking forward to winning this hundred dollars, hundred bucket ruse. I'll see y'all in the morning, boys. So this challenge is very crucial for my game. I think everyone's game. If I win. If I win, I'm going to final turn pass. So I lose. Go home. So go big or go home. Kind of nervous.
Sandi ke boy. I shook maybe like five, but Cards was in charge of a box okay, of 32 when I'm I not like, even in the game. I know, but I'm saying like not even an hour later, we were down to three. Mm. he kept lighting it and pretending it to smoke. No. Um, how many poops did each of you take in the pond? Five and a half. One. I don't have two. Two, two. Hey, that's a Constipated. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? That's oh, yeah. Why do you think yeah. he should be here? Tell him. I've already explained. And the jury. 
y'all vote for a winner tonight. Instead of voting someone off, y'all vote for who you think deserves the sole survivor. You can vote. So I'm voting winner, yeah? Yes. Okay. This is the final Trumbull Council. Gray and Nari cast up his vote for the winner. Connor and Carson, you will cast your vote as part of the jury. You'll vote for either Kellen or Hudson. For who do you think deserves the title of Soul Survivor? Alright, Carson, I'd like you to address Kellen and Hudson with a question. So, hello. Congratulations that y'all are here. Thank you. And so, I have a question for Kellen. Are you happy that you're. You're the, the only reason you're here. Do you believe the only reason you're here is because Kelly? Uh, Hudson. Well, kind of. I feel like I'm here because I was a really a big helper on Cam. Like, like I did what everyone told me to do. Like get sticks. I got sticks, and I made good alliance with them because because when they needed help, I gave them help. Mm. I made good <laughs> Hudson. Uh, when. Around camp, when we asked you to go get sticks, you and Connor paired up to go get sticks, and y'all came back with like four to one stick, yeah, five sticks. You don't need many sticks to keep the fire going. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Because it already has sticks in the fire. We already had plenty of sticks, mm -hmm. so we didn't have to get much. Uh, and, and we already had extra sticks next to the fire. Mm -hmm. Like two. Thank you, Carson. Connor. So, congratulations uh, for Kellen. So, you started off very good early in the game. You found an idol right beside camp. But then, besides that, why else should I give you a vote? Well, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you really should because I was a big threat the whole game. Too bad, but I am good at good at running, and swimming, as you saw before the challenges. And yeah, it's I don't have anything else. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Hudson, if if you didn't win today's challenge, do you think you would be sitting there? If you were to bring anyone back in this game, who would it be? Probably Brady. Brady. Alright, Hudson. Do you think Con your alliance with Connor was truly real? For a little bit. For a little bit. When did you realize that Connor was backstabbing you? Backstabbing you. When I realized that he had told other people that he was taking some time to. Look where he got him. Not even in the ball. And then you did mm -hmm. nothing the rest of the game. It made Connor a big threat after that. Carried by literally everyone. John, do you think you were carried to the Huh? Kind of, but not really. All right. Hudson, I, 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 I don't know why I was pretty surprised that you that you made the final two. I didn't expect you to win not even one challenge. But you proved me wrong. And now you're about to vote for a winner. Carson, you're first.
good job on making it here. But these will not be right right here. We need this to record in a couple hours. So I'll see you there for the Give a shout out to Nana and Popo who mm -hmm. the property and Tech on Land Serving for the spot. <laughs> hey, I forgot to play Parker. Alright, so, well, at first, I'm having lines with Carson because we were in the same tent. Then that soon broke and I got one. Um, we added Connor to that one too. We were trying to get Kellen out, but. Couldn't because he found the idol. So then, once we figured that out, me and Connor, when we were getting sticks, went and talked about what we were gonna do. We talked about getting out Carson. We made sure Kellen was okay with that because if we didn't do that, they would have voted me off and I would not be here. The first immunity challenge, um, that first one, not not too good of a start on it on finding the uh, puzzle pieces. But then my brain came in handy to solve it, so that's how I won that one. And then the last one, um, when we got out, uh, yeah, when we got out, Connor was me and we, I figured out that um, he, Connor was telling everyone that he would take him to talk to, and I was like, that can't happen because Carson had already gotten out and. Um, there was three people left and he told both of them they would go top two so I got with Kellen and told him that we should just get out Connor because he had um, done more and the reason I chose Connor was because I knew that Connor had done more stuff than Kellen so if I did Kellen I might have lost but if I did Connor Kellen had only won one rewards challenge so yeah that's how that went. the last one Hey, let me give you a Connor got out pretty, pretty quick on the last immunity challenge. Connor got out pretty quick, and then I, and then I just kind of stood there, and almost lost, because it was kind of rolling around a little bit. And shout out to Carson for helping me out on this. He just told me a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was a really fun experience. See ya! Welcome to the Survivor Reunion. To the wonderful fans. Our contestants from this season. And I'd like to give the prizes out for 5th place. Brayden already got his $20. 4th place.
Car and cars, anything you got to say about the experience? Uh, very fun, man. I would do it again, definitely. Same thing. Are you disappointed with your outcomes? I could have done a few things better, but uh, I think I played a very good game, except for a few little mistakes, errors. Besides that, I, I am, I'm not proud of the way I played, though. Yeah. I'm not either. I could have been a lot better, but I'm proud of this coach. And yeah. Show that 100. Real money. Look at that. I mean, at least I'm not last. And I got right up there. I got 50 bucks. Not bad. I'm back next year. Thank you for a great season of Survivor. See you on season two. Returners versus Rookies.